Hello and welcome to Dr. Norris Clinic. In today's episode, I'm going to be telling you how we test for influenza and how to keep you safe this winter. Influenza can affect all of us, especially if you're over 65, if you may be pregnant, or if you're a child under the age of five. The kind of symptoms that you may experience if you're suffering from influenza can include fevers, feeling tired or lethargic, having no energy, having a runny nose, a sore throat, or just simply feeling like you just don't want to go out. Now, it is a serious illness and it can cause death in some situations. It's really important that if you do have influenza, that you stay away from anybody whose immune system may be low or compromised. In terms of treatment, the best treatment is to stay at home, to keep yourself well hydrated, have regular paracetamol if you can, and make sure they're eating and drinking healthy. The reason being is because influenza will slowly go away by itself. There are certain medications that we can give you to reduce the duration of your symptoms of influenza. However, it does need to be given within a certain period of time from diagnosis. Otherwise, if it's given too late, it simply doesn't have an effect on your symptoms. There are certain ways that you can protect yourself from influenza this year. For example, there's the flu vaccination. 2019 has seen an unprecedented amount of us seeking the flu vaccination, which is great. Now, it's important to remember that the flu vaccination doesn't cover for all strains of influenza. So we'll only know this information probably next year when we analyze the situation. Other ways that you can protect yourself? Well, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. Flu virus can spread from others from hand contact and even close contact as well. If you are around somebody who's sick with influenza, be sure to stay away from them, maybe wear a mask or keep them in one room until they get better. And of course, the best way to avoid the flu is to make sure your immune system is healthy and happy. And the way that you can do this over this winter period is to make sure you're having enough vitamin C and we get vitamin C from our oranges, mandarins, strawberries, and even limes as well and also making sure that you're having enough fruit and vegetable. Guys, I see it so many times that people just aren't having their fruit and veg. I personally recommend having at least five portions of fruit and veg every day to keep your vitamins up and to make sure that your immune system is nice and healthy. Now, I'm gonna show you how we actually test for influenza virus in the clinical setting. It's really simple, don't be worried. Come, let's take a look. To check for influenza, I use a swab. Now this can be used in a number of ways, but the nicest way is to use a nasal swab. So for this, I'm gonna need a model. Come in. Hi, come in, have a seat. So today we're gonna to be doing a flu swab, which is gonna go into your nose. It's like a cotton tip, which is gonna go inside your nose. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be painful whatsoever. Is that okay with you? <laughs> So this is just a cotton tip that's going to go inside of your nose and we're going to do a quick swab and it shouldn't take too long and it shouldn't be uncomfortable at all. Just pop your head up for me and just a quick swab on the inside. And that's it. So I'm going to send this over to the lab and the results will be analysed in about two to three days and I'll have your results very soon. In the meantime, please keep yourself nice and safe, stay away from anybody who's immunocompromised and keep your hands nice and clean and make sure you eat lots and lots of fruit and veg. And if you have got any worsening symptoms, please come back and let me know. Okay guys, there you have it. That is my crash course on influenza and how to survive this horrible winter that we're having at the moment. If you guys have any questions or if you're concerned about your own health, please pop down and see me in clinic or see your local doctor. But for now, take care and stay healthy. Off to the lab it goes.